as you can see, we've got a semi-flexible solar panel from Top Solar. It's 100 watts, and this is my first experience with Top Solar, so we'll see how good this panel holds out. I just want to unbox this and get it ready to mount for my truck camper and see how it performs in the long run. There's tons of options for solar panels out there nowadays, and the reason I chose this one from Top Solar is because of the price. And it's and it still had good reviews. So in the past I've bought many solar panels from a company on Amazon called New Power, and they've been great. I've bought both mono and poly solar panels. Usually they're all they've all been a hundred watt solar panels from them. And those are rigid and so they require mounting hardware and they're definitely more of a permanent solution for solar power. In fact, I have a flexible solar panel from New Power as well. That's a 100 watt panel. And I'll be mounting that along with this one on the roof of my truck camper. And the reason I'm choosing the semi-flexible ones is because these only weigh like four pounds each versus the rigid are 15 each plus the mounting hardware. So for two panels, this this is gonna weigh eight to 10 pounds. And while the other two rigid ones are gonna be closer to 35 pounds in total. So it does save some weight for camping. The solar panel I've bought from New Power is, I believe it cost me about $130 and I bought it around the time of Black Friday. So I believe there was a little bit better of a deal at that time. Today, if you look at the price for solar panels, flexible, they still range between like 130 to 175, kind of in that range, you can find some good deals. But then Top Solar, they must be a newer company on Amazon because I haven't seen any of their stuff until just recently when I started looking for some panels, I saw that they had a variety of products available. So, and Top Solar, they had this one listed at 129 on Amazon with a $20 off coupon. So I got this for only $109 and I'm really excited to see how it performs. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and unbox this and see if it truly does hold up to what I expect it to. Here's the MC4 connectors for connecting them to your solar charge controller. So, and it looks like they're both the same length. On my new Power solar panel, one of the, the, it's like either the positive or the negative connector is shorter than the other one, and which I like if you're mounting it on a, in a certain way where you want both of them to reach the same distance to one side. But if you want to mount it a different direction, then it's going to be super short for the other side. So I think I do prefer having the, the connectors the same length. It'll just work wherever you want to go. But anyways, cool. It looks nice. Have to get this packaging off. Well, and that's it. It's just so lightweight pretty flexible so this will be nice to mount on the roof of my truck camper anyways I hope you enjoyed watching this video and hope you can follow my journey along with 
building this truck camper and see the long-term uses of these products. The solar panel, the smart solar charge controller from Victron Energy and the lithium iron phosphate battery from Ampere Time. So if you haven't seen those videos, go ahead and check them out and please leave me a comment to let me know your thoughts about these products and let me know what you think. So thanks for watching this video and if you'd consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate that as well. And I hope you have a wonderful day.